Hey, who are you? Right. What do you want? Well, you can never be too careful. Be warned, it's not safe here. Super mutants have attacked recently and carried off some of our friends. Come in, just don't cause any trouble, okay? Hi there, I'm Bittercup. Finally, someone who doesn't judge me. You know, the people here are just so quick to assume that they know everything about you. I mean, like, just because I'm different doesn't mean that I'm some sort of freak, you know? It's like, hello, this world sucks. No one gets that. They're all like, blah, 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 blah. What's wrong with that girl? God, it's so nice to have someone who understands. I mean, sure, when I left Little Lamplight, I was happy to be out of there. I was dating Pappy then, you know. I got here, and he was like, Big Town will be safe. But it wasn't. This place is always under attack. But I don't date liars. So I dumped his ass and got with Flash. But that didn't last very long. Me and Time Bomb were a thing for a while, too. I wander around town to find chalk and makeup sometimes. Not like there's any place to buy stuff. Ever wonder what it would be like to slit your wrist? I watched someone die once. So I'm an expert on death. And so are many of my friends now. Now that mutants took them. Unless someone can figure out how to rescue them. They took them to Germantown, probably to that old police station. Why? You got a death wish? Sometimes, I want to die. But I'd rather do it poetically, like slit my wrist under a full moon, surrounded by candles, in my pretty black dress. Really? I, I mean, um, they aren't really my friends. I don't have any friends. I don't need any. But it would be nice to have them around again. If the mutants get you, come back and haunt me.
Ah, a fellow student on the path of the wasteland. Welcome to my humble caravan. Please relax, for we are in a place of safety. The type of safety that can only be ensured by an abundance of weaponry, both wicked and awesome. All of which can be yours, for the right price. It's my pleasure to offer hot death in a variety of exciting flavors. Take your pick. Pleasure doing business with you. Keep your skills sharp and your eyes peeled, all right? You're not one of them. I nearly blasted you in two. Get over here before they spot you. Now what the hell are you doing all the way out here? That's great, but I got bigger problems than being the town post office right now. The shit's about to hit the fan in this cesspool, and I don't think I can stop them. Well, at first they do their typical gang bullshit. You know, break stuff and make lots of noise, but they always kept their distance. But this last time, they went too far. They killed all of our Brahmin. I mean, that's our lifeblood out here, you know. Ah, look, you can call me crazy if you want, but there is something odd about those creeps. I mean, they got the guns and they got the muscle. Why don't they just bust down our doors and take us out already? We're really in a bad way and could use some help. I don't want to take my eyes off the ramp here. There's no telling when the family will return. Can you do me a favor and check on the other people's houses here? You know, make sure they're doing okay? Speak with Davis West, Karen Shenzi, and Ken Ewers. I can't take that. You're just going to have to bring it to the West yourself. Just watch yourself. I've got an itchy trigger finger. Hello? Is this the mailman? Oh, I do hope my fall catalog has arrived. Oh, goody. I can hardly wait to browse the latest fashions. Please do come inside. Let me unlock the door for you. What the hell are you doing in here? Get the fuck out! Oh, for the love of... Look, she's dumber than a bag of hammers, okay? If you want to talk to anyone, you need to talk to me. So what the fuck do you want? We're great. Just peachy. I love sitting in my house with my thumb up my ass. Tell Mr. King that sitting here all day isn't going to make us any safer. We need to take action. Good. Now get out. Hey there. You must be exhausted from all that walking in this horrible heat. Oh, and hungry too. Sit, please. 
Braley Ewers is the name. Don't mind my husband, Kenneth. He woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. Oh, he's such a dear. I must remember to make more of those preserves he loves so much. Bye-bye. Come back soon. Yes? Good to see you. Yes? Yes. Who is it? Oh, he did? Well, it's about damn time he did something. Come on in. I'll unlock the door. It's nice to see a friendly new face around here. It's been a long time. The name's Karen Shenzi. Scared out of my mind. I'm glad he's checking on us, but until someone nips the problem in the bud, we may as well stay inside forever. We're scared shitless. Evan King's got everyone so worked up about the family, no one wants to set foot outside. That asshole runs the show. But does he really do anything about our problem? No. Sure. Go. Just like everyone else. What did they tell you? Everyone okay? The family must have gotten to them in the last attack. Sons of bitches. Damn it! If only we had more men, we could stand up to them. I'm sick of them terrorizing this town. Wait a minute. When you searched the West's place, did you find their son Ian's body? This has to be the work of the family. I've caught that weird old leader of theirs talking to Ian down by the river. Look, I know I've asked a lot of you already, but you have to find that kid. He deserves better than all this. Thanks, kid. You're all right. Next time I see the family, there's gonna be hell to pay.